Welcome back. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the build process, how it starts and how it finishes. So the first thing is, is to come up with an idea. This can be a campus project idea or this can be a policy idea, but you still have to start with an idea. So let's come up with an idea. Let's think of, hmm, what's something the campus could need? Okay, we need hammock pods on the quad. That'd be an idea. So then you have to actually write the bill. We're going to provide you with a bill template that explains everything and how to write a bill later. But for now, we're going to write a bill on hammock pods on the quad. So once we have written the bill, what happens next? Well, it moves into a committee. A committee is either the campus projects committee or the policy review committee. In the campus projects, we, we're going to deal with this hammock bill. But policy review deals with policy bills. So we're going to set that aside. So we have hammock pods that we're trying to come up with as a bill. Hammock pods, all right? So the committee is going to tear apart that bill that you just wrote. They're going to try to find grammatical errors. They're going to see if it's even feasible, if the price is okay. Anything, there's some, if there's something wrong with that bill, they're going to tear it apart. The committee is designed to do that. But once the committee has torn it apart, uplifted it, and built it back together, structurally sound, and the Bill, and the bill looks good, then the committee votes and approves of it. Once the committee votes and approves of it, the chairman is going to send it to our Senate secretary. So that brings us to the first reading. During Senate session, in the first reading, a bill will be completely read by the Senate secretary. That's the first reading. After it's completely read, the, the person who is presenting the bill, so for example, if I'm making a bill on hammock pods, I'm going to come down and do a presentation on the hammock pods, what they look like, where they're going to go, and what the price is going to look like. And so that is what I'm going to do during my presentation. However, once I'm finished, then all the senators are going to start questioning the bill. Now, this is not going to be total chaos. It's just going to be directed at the chair. So what does that look like? For example, um, me being the Senate president, there's going to be somebody who says, oh, I have a question about this. So they ask that question. You, being the person who wrote the bill, is going to answer that question. If you can't answer that question, you can answer the question in two weeks when it is read again for a second time. Now, once all the questioning is done, there's no more discussion on that bill and we move on in the Senate session. It's just a time of questioning the bill. So, that brings us to the second reading. What happens during the second reading? Well, the secretary once again is going to read the bill entirely and then we're going to move into a time of debate. Now, debate is not what you see on TV and media and everything like that. No, the debate is respectful to everybody in the room and it's all directed to me as the chairman. Since I am running the meeting, all the debate comments are going to be aimed towards me. Now, during debate, you are going to stand up and you're going to say whether or not you are an affirmation or are you against the bill. If you're an affirmation, you're going to stand up you're going to say, I affirm the bill, or I am against the bill. And you're going to state your reasons why. That's the time of debate. Now, during debate, there are two rounds of debate. The first round gives everybody an opportunity to speak. The second round is a time of rebuttal. So let's say Senator A said something along the lines of, well, I support hammock pods because it engages community. Well, let's say Senator B says, well, I don't think the hammock pods is a good idea and I'm against the bill because the price is a little too high. Now, Senator A does, cannot, cannot come back with a rebuttal until the first round of debate is completely over. Now, during second round of debate, Senator A can come back and say, well, it engages the community, we have the money in the budget, and we're able to do that. Now remember, all comments are directed to the chair, but that is the two rounds of the debate. Once debate is finished, there is a senator who's going to make a motion to return to the previous question. Now, we're not returning to questioning. Don't get that confused. No, we're returning the bill to where we have a chance to vote on it. This is where the actual bill gets passed or it, shut, it gets shut down. It doesn't have enough votes. Now, we start off with a voice vote. I will, me being the chair, I will ask the senators, all in favor, please say aye. You will have the opportunity to say aye. And if you're against it, I will say in all, of in all opposed, you will say nay. Now, if we have one nay, we will then move into a roll call vote. That way we can have an official tally of if it passes or fails. If the bill passes, 
and let's say in this case that the hammock pods pass, we move into the next step of how does a bill get officially passed? Just because the Senate passes it does not mean that we're going to get hammock pods the next day. There's a process. The ESGA student body president has to sign off on this bill. And if he is in favor of the bill, he's going to sign it and say, yes, I'm in favor of hammock pods and I sign the bill. If he's, not a, if he's not for hammock pods, he has the opportunity and the power to veto it. If he vetoes it, the bill dies. But in this case, let's say he does sign it off and says, yes, hammock pods on the quad. That looks great. Then it moves on to administration. Evangelion University's administration involves the vice president of student development. He is going to say, he is going to have the final say of approving or denying the actual bill. Even though the Senate said yes, the, Senate, the student body president said yes, the administration still can say no. But let's say that the administration says yes, then the bill goes fully through and the process starts to actually put hammock pods on campus. And that is how Senate can make an idea all the way to something that is put into action. And if you can actually see the hammock pods out on campus, and I highly encourage you to use them. But for today, this is how a bill goes from start to finish. Now, obviously, we're going to provide you with a bill template sheet. We're going to provide you with all the tools you will need to write an effective bill. If you have questions, please ask after this video. Thank you.